Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code called Merge Two Sorted Lists. It's easy. We're going to jump right into it. You were given the heads of two sorted linked lists, list one and list two. Merge the two lists into one sorted list. The list should be made by splicing together the nodes of the first two lists. Return the head of the final merged linked list. Example one, we have list one and list two, one, two, four, one, three, four. And we splice together the nodes to go from one to one to two, to three, to four, to four, to get our final output linked list. And we return the head of that. Example two, we have nothing in either list. So we just output nothing. And example three, we have nothing in list one and just a node in list two. So we just return that entire list two. We have some constraints. And again, both list one and list two are sorted in non-decreasing order. Okay, so this is actually pretty straightforward. We are already given two sorted lists. So say we had the following example. This is very similar to example one over here. We're gonna go from zero to one to two to four as list one. So our list one starts with the head of this linked list right here. And list two points to one, the head of our second list. We want to return one single merge sorted linked list. How do we do that? What we wanna do is we just wanna compare the lowest of list one and list two's values, right? List one is smaller, so we're gonna start off with that. So I'm just gonna mark this as my current node in that final merged linked list. Now what do I wanna do after that? I have zero. How do I know what next node to use? Well, I know the smallest possible values would be at the beginning of the list, right? I already saw this first one. So now I wanna to compare to that next node. So I'm gonna move L1 to point to L1.next. So it points to this node over here. And I'm gonna compare it with L2's value. Here, they're both the same. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to set our current node's next value to say L1. And it's already there right now. So I'm just going to move my current node down and L1 as well. So now we can compare between two and one. One is smaller. So now one's next node, so current node's next node, would point to L2. So let's make that pointer. So it now points to L2. And again, we want to move L2 down and make this our current node. So this is now our current node, and this is what L2 is. So right now we have a head of zero, which points to one, which points to this one. And now we want to see what next node should be. So L1 and L2, what's the smallest of these values? That is L1. So we're going to have one's next point to two. So now one points to two, and we have our current node being two and L1 being four. Again, we make these comparisons. This is smaller L2, so we're gonna have another pointer instead of going to four, to three. So now we're going from zero to one, to one, to two, to three. And this is our current node. Now we just wanna compare between L1 and L4. It doesn't matter which one we take, they're both the same. So say we go over here, so our current node is here and we move L2 down, so now it points to none. And now since we are comparing none from an actual value, we would just take this value. So now we would move L1 down. So both of these point to none. So we know we are done with our splicing to return that final merge link list of zero to one, to one, to two, to three, to four, to four. And that's all we need to do. So we're just gonna go ahead and code all of this up and run through a super quick example. Before coding this up, just to recap what we wanna do with our logic, we're given our two sorted linked lists. We want to splice them to get one final linked list. And we're just gonna compare the heads of each list because they're already sorted in non-decreasing order. The smallest values are gonna be at the front of the list. So we just compare them and link them through. At the very end, all we wanna do is return the head of the list. So we're also gonna need some sort of pointer to keep track of that head. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a dummy node. So I'm gonna have head be a new list node passing in none. And I'm going to mark this as my current node as well. Now we want to go through our two linked lists, the so while L1 or L2. So either, either list exists, we want to do our processing. Now we want to compare values, right? So if L1.val is less than L2.val, what do we want to do? We want to use that node as our current next node. So per.next is going to equal L1, and we're going to move L1 down to equal L1.next. And if that is not the case, then we're going to do the exact opposite. So current next is going to equal L2 and we're going to move L2 down to equal L2 dot next. Now, what happens when one node does not exist? Remember, we hit this none point 
with L2 over here. So if L1 is none, our current dot next is going to be L2 and there's no other processing to do, right? We're just going to use all the nodes in L2. So we can just return our head dot next because this should point to the beginning of our merged linked list. And if L2 is none, if L2 is none, then current dot next equals L1, L1, and we return head dot next. Now, remember, we also had to keep moving our current node down, right? We're setting current dot next equal to something. So we want to move our current down to be current dot next. And at the very end, all we do is return head dot next. So let's go ahead and submit this. Cannot access local variable L1. Okay, that's because we're using list one and list two, not L1 and L2 as we did in our example. So we're just going to go ahead and replace all of these instances. And same with list two for L2. Okay, now let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Okay, quickly running through an example just to see how all of this is coming together. Say we had example one with list one being one, two, four, and list two being one, three, four. We're going to create a head. So this is just going to be a node with none. So I'm going to have a none over here. And current also points to head. So right now, current is over here, like so. Now, while list one or list two, and we're just going to use L1, L2 instead. So both of these are true. We're in this while statement. If list one is none, that's not true. If list two is none, also not true. If list one's value is less than list two, not true. So we're in this else over here. Current dot next equals list two. None's next is going to be one, like so. So none now points to one, and we move list two to be list two dot next. So now it points to three, and current equals current dot next. So current is over here, pointing to node one. We're back in this while loop. Both of these are true. List one and list two are both not none. So if list one is none, if list two is none, we don't go into these ifs. And now we make a check. List one is less than list two in value. So current next is going to be list one. So instead of being three, it now points to list one like this. So now we move list one to be list one dot next. And we also move current to be current dot next. So current is over here. So right now our merge linked list goes from none to one to one. And we're back in this while loop again, just making the same checks, right? L1 is less than L2 in value. So we're going to keep this link over here and we're going to move L1 down to be L1 dot next and move current down to be current dot next. If we go back in this while loop, neither of these are none. So here four is not less than three. So our next pointer should go to L2. So it's going to go down over here instead of this connection here. And L2 goes to L2.next and current is over here. Now we are back in this loop. L1 is not less than L2. So current.next equals list2. So we keep this over here. And list2 equals list2.next. So now it's pointing to none. And we move current down as well. So we're back in this while loop because list1 is not none, even though list2 is. So we're in this if condition now list two is none. So our current dot next just points to list one like so. And we would just return head dot next head was none. Remember? So all we're doing is returning one and that's the head of our new merged linked list. The time complexity for this would be O of N where N is the length of list one plus list two and space is constant O of one. We don't really make use of any extra space. If you have any questions whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. If not, I will see you next time.